Hello everyone, my name is Brooke Sachi. Welcome to the Booker Cast, everyone's favorite, and I mean favorite Booker Booker <laughs> favorite Tokusatsu podcast. I'm your host, well, me. <laughs> and we are here to talk about, well, <clears throat> you read the thumbnail, you read the title. We're talking about Kid Major. Now, my last podcast, I we talk about why I did not like X8 and oh boy, <laughs> that was not fun. That was not fun to watch watching the third time. Well, a few exceptions, but still. So why do I like Kid Major so much? All right, so I'm gonna get I'm gonna be a little personal here. But uh, Kid Major helped me through my dark times with uh with 2020 and, and the pandemic and COVID. And, uh, dang, hard for me to say. I watched Zero One with Aaron, but, like, I watched Zero One, I watched Zero One, I watched Zero One second half when it was airing, when COVID was happening. It didn't come my attention. Unlike here, Major, that athlete did come my attention. First time I watched it, I thought it was good. It was okay. I liked it. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, after buying the memorial, after the, after buying the memorial, Kimmy Changer, I sat down, we watched the whole entire show, and god damn it, I had I have I had a lot of stuff to say about it. Alright, first off, to get this I'm oh, sorry. First off, get this out of the way. <laughs> Judo is a relatable character. Judo is a relatable character to me because he's a nerd. He's a dork, but yeah, he is shy. And he doesn't. And he doesn't want to hurt no one's feelings. Really enough, I can relate to that. Personal, personal wise, is that uh, Judo's Judo's a uh, freaking uh, inspiration. You kind of say. Reminds me. Of, reminds me of my inspiration because, with cause, like out of nowhere, Judo Judo basically say, "Kimmy King," like okay. My boy, okay, my boy basically had like a brand new inspiration. What is he gonna, what the heck is he gonna draw? And pretty much draw whatever comes to his head. <laughs> it's that creativity that I like about him. And I love it because it reminds me of me so much. <laughs> oh, crap. Also, to say this, uh, this part, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this, uh, do you guys remember the 2017 Power Rangers movie? You guys, you guys know that uh, Billy in that movie had ADHD. The reason why I bring it up because as someone who has ADHD, I kind of see that in judo as well. At in a few moments in the show. <laughs> Not as much, but a few moments of the show, he's anti-social, and I like that about him. So let's talk about uh, Timiko. I freaking love this guy. <laughs> uh, Timiko is an interesting character, I could say. First time watching it, he was okay. He was, like, he was like one of my least favorites out of the main cast, out of the main six. Rangers, I, was, I meant to say. But I like him. <laughs> <laughs> he gets he broke the he break the stereotype of male yellow of being complete joke. Oh no, don't worry. I'm looking wrong. This still oh on this show this show at time treat him like a complete joke, but still <laughs> I just love the fact how yeah everyone everyone I just love the fact how everyone pretty much not know who the heck he is. Like wait, who are you? I'm like Bro, really? <laughs> really, really. One of my favorite episodes. One of my favorite episodes of Timiko probably got to be, uh, the episode with him and Shurugu fighting Yondo. The cool, what's the episode called again? Two cool dudes. I like that episode. <laughs> that the episode. That episode pretty much showed good care development. Bye, Ram. I'm sorry if I'm studying. I'm, I'm pretty excited to talk about why I love the show. But that episode show pretty much 
a good care development, a good bromance, a good relationship between Shuguru and uh, Timiko, and I like it. But one of my favorite episodes, one of my, another favorite episode of mine, is episode when uh, when uh, he was in a a uh, groundhog. Oh, I, I, I was about to say day sec machina, machina, but no, he was basically in a time loop. And and the first time he first time that happened, he was like, "Ah, oh, crap! I'm in a time loop. So how do I how do I cause this to stop?" And he fought, and he fight out with the monster and. Oh my god, <laughs> I feel sorry for that monster of the week, because every time he tries to, uh, every time he tries to reset, he has a new plan. Like, okay, for example, for example, <laughs> there's a, for example, there's a scene in the show, in that episode, when he gets all of the henchmen of that season to, to guard him, right? <laughs> and it backfired badly. There's another scene in that same episode when he gets a trash can to protect him. Like, dude, the trash can to protect you. <laughs> he get beaten out. <laughs> I feel sorry for him. He be like, yeah, no, 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 just end my life. Just, just freaking end my life, please. This yellow ranger, please. This kid man just beating me up multiple times. <laughs> Oh man, I fucking love it. <laughs> Sorry, but I fucking love it. Oh man, I love it so much. <laughs> oh man, Akara, Akara, buddy, listen. I know that you had planned that you wanted to do like 48 episodes of the show, but you couldn't do the COVID. But I gotta say this. I gotta say this. I gotta say this. Why the Matt no nothing I'll say for now. I'll get I'll get onto this I'll get onto this very really soon after the after I'm done talking about the character. But why the freak does the show remind me of Decker Ranger? I know, a car wrote for Decker Ranger as well, don't get me wrong. He also wrote for Abba Ranger and we're we'll we'll get on to Abba Ranger as well. But uh why the freak does the show basically remind me of Decker Ranger? My for my perfect examples I'll bring up is number one, the same head writer, a car wrote for Deck Ranger as well. Number two, the both teams have a commander and a chief. Again, then the commander of Kiri Major is the Apple Pen guy. And funny enough about that, in the movie he did the Apple Pen meme. Don't know how Toei got him. Don't know how Toei got that guy. But uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he he did that meme. <laughs> he did that meme video in the Kim Ranger movie. <laughs> I'll say right now that movie's weird as shit. <laughs> excuse my language. Excuse my language, but that movie's weird. <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs> but yeah, back I'm saying, both shows have that direct, uh, that mentor, that boss, the chief, you can say. And and he and he tells them that uh de deploy to deploy to here here here, and both teams say yokai say Roger. I'm like, why did it say Roger? Oh ho ho ho! I know why he did that. Dude, Kid Major basically Deck Ranger 2.0. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It pretty much is. And also my sec also to prove my other point. Yeah, uh to get it out of the way, Dagger Master's voice actor is in Kieran Major. He played he played the Kieran Made Gold Stone. Pretty much when I first heard his voice when I heard his voice after watching the show, I was like, Oh, it's Dagger Master. Okay, that's pretty much proved my point. That that pretty much proved my point. This is the Deck Ranger two point <laughs> And also, it's not also it's not the fact that uh, Takamichi gave me the exact same vibe as Tetsu. <laughs> yeah, he pretty much did give me the same vibe as Tetsu, <laughs> but just way more cheesier and just way more cheesy. <laughs> you could say Tetsu. See, oh wait, Tetsu is written well. I freaking love Tetsu. <laughs> I love Decker Blake. He's weird. 
But yeah, he's a dork at time and awesome and badass. And his catchphrase is one of my favorite because it's just it's just freaking stupid. But <laughs> talking Michi on the hand, well, he had a lot of good moments in the show. He's like Tetsu, but at the same time, he isn't Tetsu. I'll get on Takamichi. I'll get on to Takamichi soon. But uh, back on saying, yeah, this show is pretty much Dead Ranger 2.0, and I freaking love it. <laughs> that's like one of my that, that's like one of my uh, main criticism for the show. I'll get on to my negative, but uh, yeah. So back on the character, Timiko. Yeah, I freaking like Timiko. <laughs> I feel sorry for that uh, for that one monster. <laughs> also, he's a gamer, <laughs> and. Why the freak was he playing Monster Hunter? And uh Tekken, like Toei. What like Toei, how many times Toei? It did like this this is like the second time Toei literally made a power not power is your fault. Freak. This is like the second time Toei literally made a uh Toku show that they used Tekken in. First time was an exit. Not know why <laughs> I don't know why they keep using Tekken here. Like, for real. To actually, no. Uh, there's also Zeo. There's also Zeo because there's a, there's, a, there's a one freaking episode. I'm not talking about Zeo. Don't get me wrong. So, uh, <laughs> back on saying, yeah, Tomiko? Tomiko? Whatever you want to call him. I like him. He bricked. Ooh. He broke the stereotype of Yellow Ranger being treated like crap. And, like, the last, like, Sentai show when Yellow Ranger, a male Yellow Ranger was treated like crap was Gal Yellow from Gal Ranger. And I like Gal Yellow, funny enough. I ain't gonna say, ain't gonna say Gal because Gal basically just, well, I don't, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think Gal probably my least favorite, uh, Kano. Least favorite character is in Kaiju. Simple enough. But, uh, yeah. The last time I watched Sentai Soul, that Yellow Ranger was in some kind of crappy stereotype, was Gal Yellow from Gal Ranger. And I like Gal Yellow. I like actor too. But still. So let's talk about Shirugo. Oh boy. <laughs> Shirugo. <laughs> I fucking love this guy. One of my favorite Blue Rangers now because of this. He's an actor, but at the same time, his whole at the same time he was a, in the beginning of the show. He was a jerk. He was a douche. He basically gave me. He basically reminded me of Hoji. <laughs> mm. <laughs> he basically reminded me of Hoji because at the beginning of the show Hoji was a piece of crap. Hoji was a douche to Bond. And that's basically what he is. He reminds me of Hoji. But at the same time, <laughs> but at the same fucking time, one of my favorite one of my favorite episodes of him was like what what, what was it? Episode three, I think it was. When uh when when did this when when did the when when did the freaking uh, fangirl? And we find out we find out that uh, this fangirl is a good singer. And she uh, basically uh, put many others, including Judo, Sena, my girl, and Timiko into some kind of trance. And it, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that ep that same episode, Trugo brought out a big bag of fan leather, a fan mail, and uh, he was showing. And he uh, and he did not want to see this girl not one bit. But uh, Sayo basically, Sayo basically got pissed off and just grabbed him by the shirt, say, "Yeah, no, you're coming with me." And he had the address of this girl, and we and we gotta go talk to her. And oh my god, this girl could not take no for a freaking answer. My god. But you no, know, I know the actress is. I like the actress, but still. Oh my goodness, what the fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh man! But uh, one one of my favorite one like one of my other favorite episodes was probably him and Judo Judo Jewel. I see what they did there. Judo Jewel. 
Yeah, ha ha, Toei. His name almost sounds like a jewel. Get it. But uh, I like Judo. Not Judo. Not me. I like that episode where him and Judo basically talk to the Kirame Stone. The gold one. That's basically Decker Master, guys. So they basically talk to Decker Master. Decker Master said this. Oh, make me cry. Make me, make me, make my emotion come out at me again. If you don't, I'm torturing y'all for, for eternity. So please, try your hardest. And Shiguro pretty much did it. Pretty much made it work. <laughs> the power of acting! Oh man, I freaking love this guy. <laughs> the power of acting! He's an actor, and he was emotional. And yet, I like that about him, because in the second half, mostly, we, we can see that we can see that he's becoming more likable to the others. I love it. I loved it. Oh, man. Also, fun fact. Turns out, his actor did his actor. I, I did not know this, but uh, turns out that uh, his actor did Tendo in high school. Yes, his actor, his actor did swordsmanship. Like, sword, uh, sword fighting in a high school in tournaments. Pretty cool because the actor is all about being a swordsman. And I like that. And I like that. Not gonna lie. Uh Shuguru was pretty Shuguru was pretty cool. One of my favorite blue angels now. <laughs> Probably my top five. Top three. No nope. top five. Okay. <laughs> so uh let's talk about so let's talk about so let's talk about I can talk about so let's talk about my favorite character in the show, uh, Sena. Now I want to say that a lot of pe there are people that do not like her, and that's understandable. She's forgettable at times, yes. But I want to say about Sena. I actually like Sena. She's my second favorite character in the show. Cause I relate. I can relate to her. I can relate to her from far for a couple of reasons because uh, because of one episode. But I like Sena. She's fun, energetic, and a hothead. She's basically female Bond. Uh, Bond is fun, energetic, and also a hothead while being a dumbass at times. That's also Sena. And they even bring her up in time in the show. How stupid she can be. Like, a perfect example. Episode 37 is uh, when Yondo accidentally... Uh, and they accidentally uh, split Sena's personality into five. Sena one basically energetic and being all hi hi hyper and happy. Sena two basically Sena two basically basically ah, fuck. Sena two is basically her being cute and her having like a uh, filter. <laughs> basically, her being an Instagram uh, celebrity. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Saint Dre was basically emotional. Yeah, Saint Dre. I know Saint Dre was basically her. Saint Dre was basically her. Saint. Ba ah, I can't talk. Saint Dre was basically her intelligence. With her being good at technology and all that. Her her nerd side, which I love that by the way. Saint Four. Saint Four is her emotional. It's her emotion. Her emotional side. And uh, Saint Five. Oh boy, Sena Five is basically her uh, negativity side, her uh, depression side, you can say. And oh my goodness, I like this side of her because I, I think I can relate to I can relate to I can relate to uh, <clears throat> I can relate to Sena I can relate to this episode because funny enough, all five versions of Sena are just like me. I have an ear drag side. I have a a handsome side. We can say, <laughs> I have a I have a technology side, I have an emotional side, and I have a negativity side. And God dang, and I love it, and I love it how yeah, Sile was there for for Santa Five. Tell her that, tell her that uh, we need you. Route route you, Santa, is incomplete, and I like that, and I like that. And also, I love the fact that I had car both for that episode because, goddamn, that episode was pretty good. One of my favorites because of that. Sena is a, Sena, Sena's funny. 
Yeah, this time of show, this time of show, yeah, she's very serious, and when she's very scared, and I just want to hug her. I just want to hug her because of that. Also, I love the Gag Range episode. <laughs> I love Gag Range. I love, I love that episode. Oh, I want to say that. Uh, I, I want to say that. Uh, our Kara did not vote for that episode. No, no, no. He had a guest writer. And you want to, you want to know who, the, who was the guest writer for the episode? It was the person that wrote for Gekki Rangers. She wrote for that episode. Yes, Gekki Rangers head writer. She wrote for that episode. And I'm gonna guess that uh I'm gonna guess that uh they wanna bring like the Gek Ranger they wanna like bring like somewhat of a Gek Ranger uh freak, I'm saying they wanted to uh bring like Andy Gek Ranger, Gek Rangers back, but uh, they couldn't. I think uh I know that uh, I know that Deck I know that freaking Gekki Chopper retired. Actually no he didn't retire. No, he didn't because he was a freaking he was in the freaking Ghost and Saber crossover. Why didn't it bring Geki Chopper back? That I had no idea. Well, actually, I do know, kind of. Uh, <laughs> that crossover happened after somewhat the show was over, so I couldn't be mad about that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but yeah, why didn't they bring like Geki Chopper actor in that episode? It wouldn't make perfect sense though, because well. Because well, he's still acting to his very day. I don't know. Toby was Toby wasn't thinking straight. I'm gonna guess. But yeah, I like that episode. Yeah, I like episode. I like I like I like the episode thirty seven, the five Sainas, <laughs> and the Gekirin's episode. Well, yeah, yeah. Also, John speak. What the freak. I love it how yet they talk about waki waki and niki niki or shua shua like okay John speak I see what you're trying to do here ha ha okay just bring Geki Red's actor in here because I know I know he's not retired I don't think I don't know I don't think Kim I can't mean I don't know if Geki Yo actor still acting but again then Again, then I know. Again, then she's the mom now, and she's keeping eye. She keeping eye on her kid, but still, <laughs> we, we can't get blue since he retired. What about Violet? What about Violet? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck is Gekki Violet doing to very day? <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, let's talk about us. <laughs> so before we talk about Sai, I'm gonna say that Sena. It's my second favorite kid in the show. I love her. <laughs> uh, she's dorky. She's energetic. She's great. She had her moment being, well, nervous and scared. I just want to hug her. She's basically female Bond, and I like that. <laughs> she's basically female freaking Bond. So, 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 let's talk about Sayo, the big sister of the team. She's basically, oh my god, why am I going to say this, <laughs> ironically. She's basically the, she's basically, well, she's basically Jasmine 2.0. And when I say that, it's that Jasmine was my favorite character in Decker Rangers, yes. But at the same time, both characters have their moments where, where they're scared and nervous. And, and they don't have like their confidence at all. Like perfect example in Decker Ranger, however, Jasmine scared when she saw that one girl, when she, when she saw that one criminal. When she touched her hand, saw 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 what the heck, what the heck her what the heck kind, what what the heck she, what kind of aura she had, her memories. Jasmine shit her pants and said that it's too, it's say that it's. say that it's too late. We, we should lose all that. We should lose all that crap. Like what? No, 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 Jasmine, don't talk like that, girl. Then Bond, then Bond told her, then Bond told her to woman up and have confidence because we're here, we're, we're your friends, we're here to help. I'm like, damn, Bond, why you gotta do that? <laughs> Again, damn, I freaking love Bond, but still. Pretty much same thing here. Same thing here in Care Major. She's basically, uh, She's basically female Jasmine. Not female, not female. She's basically Jasmine. 
because both teams treat Jack both teams treat because both team treat Sena and Jasmine like like the older sister. And ironically, uh Sena not I me mean, Sio, sorry, Sio <laughs> Sio and Jasmine. Funny enough, uh Tomiko and uh Sena it's called Sio what? Sene? Sione? Which basically means older sister. It's so weird how they say it, but yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, she, yeah, she's pretty much, she's pretty much like the older sister of the whole group. Tomiko, like the, uh, I'll say like, what, second youngest? Suruko, Suruko, like the oldest, the oldest brother. Uh, Judo, the youngest. Well, actually, no. Yeah, Judo, actually, yeah, Judo, the youngest. Takamichi is like pretty much the oldest out of them all. Of them all. He, and they even confirmed that they, He's pretty much the oldest one out of all six of them. <laughs> it sounds like a little sister. I like Santa. I would marry her though, but still. But yeah, Sayo sounds cool. It it was it was pretty it's pretty funny how yet uh it's pretty funny yet she's a doctor, but at the same time, she's scared of well, dentists. No joke. They actually, no joke, they, no joke, they actually they have to confirm in the show. See, she did not like dentists, but yeah, at the same time, she's a doctor. Just don't know how that works, but okay. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, what can you say about Sayo? She gives off, like, she gives off, like, a, uh, peachy energy, also. It's the fact that uh she has a it's the fact that she has a soft spot for people for like people who are like in depression and all that. Perfect example what perfect example could be in episode thirty seven of the fire Sena, why she was connecting very very much to Sena to Sena number to Sena number five. <laughs> oh man, I like that. I like that. <laughs> But I like that. <laughs> sorry, sorry, bro. sorry, like about uh, mumbling, but uh, damn it, that's not like damn it. This show's just fucking awesome. <laughs> sorry, my language as well, but still. So I wanted to say now, there isn't there isn't a much there isn't like a much to say about her. So I heard like the older sister of the group. Also, her actress is pretty cute. Also, fun fact: turns out uh, her actress. Her actress likes Gal. Her her actress watched Gal Ranger, and uh, her favorite her favorite like, Ranger of the team is Gal Yellow. That's pretty cool, because uh, another fun because like just like another Weiwa actor who also like who also like Gal Ranger and his favorite Ranger of the team is Gal Blue. I'm talking about Naki's actor from Zero One. Apparently, uh. He watched com he watched uh Dano Kiva when they were airing when he was a kid. And he watched Gal Ranger and he said and he said his favorite Ranger of the team is Gal Blue. That's pretty cool though. I like Gal Blue. I like Gal Ranger. Not my favorite. I would I would recommend it, but still. <laughs> so I better say yeah, yeah, there isn't much to say about Sena. Simple as that. I like her. See how she had a lot of good moments. She's cute though, but at the same time, she's pretty much like eye candy. So, so she's nothing like uh, she's nothing like uh, Kazumi, Kazumi, uh, from Ninja. And oh boy, Ninja, she's no, she's nothing like Kazumi from Ninja. So simple as that. I like her. She's basically like with Jasmine. Yet at the same time, they didn't give her like a lot of character. Well, I don't know, I don't know. See, see, have, see, have, see, see, have, still. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, our car and mail, our car pretty much, pretty much confirmed this, pretty much confirmed that this is pretty much Deck Ranger 2.0. <laughs> Buddy, listen, listen, listen. I know that, I know that you love Deck Ranger because, like, you vote for a lot of Deck Ranger, a lot of Deck Ranger content for Toei. The V Cinema. The freaking uh, girls in trouble, uh, prequel. 
I don't buy it. I want. I want to say that that uh prequel was kind of weird. But again, then again, then uh, Kirichi Sakamoto uh directed for that. Also, ironically, he directed for the show as well. Just saying. Yes, Kirichi. Kirichi yes, Kirichi. Kirichi. I can talk for. Kirichi Sakamoto directed. He was one of the directors for like uh Kira Magic. He didn't write all episode. He only he only directed like well he only ah. he only directed like like what a few and a half of the episodes like few episodes and that's it. Simple as that. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah. <laughs> See back saying Saint not Saint. Sayo, she's cool. She have her moment, but at the same time, she's basically Jasmine two point oh. Yeah, they didn't give her like a lot of character. I'm I'm sorry. I like her, but still, she way better than uh Kazumi, Kazumi from uh Nin Ninja. So simple as that. So uh, so uh, so let's talk about so uh, let's talk about uh, Takamichi. I like this guy a lot. And also, I want to say. Also, I want to say this is a fun fact. Uh, apparently, <laughs> when uh, he was a kid, and he and he and this is this is confirmed by him. He said to himself, when he was a kid, he watched Decker Ranger as a kid, and he was a and he and to this very day, he's he is still a fan of the show. Bro, I'm gonna say this. And the fact that uh he is part, the fact that uh, Akara Akara wrote for Decker Ranger, and yet he was part yet Akara wrote for his character. It, if that doesn't if that doesn't confirm that this is pretty much Decker Ranger two point oh, I don't know what does. <laughs> but Takamichi was cool, but at the same time he was like every at the same time his character was like uh everywhere like doing this and this and this. He might be Tetsu. Because beginning, she called like decorated. Tetsu was pretty much like a Tetsu was like a, like a douche, yes. But at the same time, Tetsu became a more likable, trustworthy person. And same thing happened in decorated. They did the exact same thing here, and I like it. Literally, him and Judo, him and Judo literally had a talk about him trusting others and his teammates. Ironically. They did the exact same thing in Decker Ranger with Tetsu and Bond and many others. And I like that. And I like that. <laughs> and I freaking like that. And I like that. I love I love I love his suit and his theme song. Yes, it yeah, yeah. All the Kiermates that have their own intro theme. One one of my favorites if one of my favorites is uh wonder is uh <laughs> wonder uh freak this is Japanese uh hold on let me go hold on let me go look it up du, 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 du. wonder what the heck what the heck is it again wonder what what the heck is it again I'm so sorry by the way I'm so sorry by the way I just wanna uh say that do 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 What the heck is his theme song? Yo, he has a theme song. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> Bro, what? Where is it? Hold on. He has he has an inter theme song. Oh yeah, he does. He actually has two. Interesting. He has one. He has one called. He has one called Shiny Kame Silver, which was the inter theme that was playing with his debut. Also, he has also he has Wonder Shiguru, Shigoshin. <laughs> the song basically talking about well him. <laughs> the song basically talking about. About him, it's pretty cool. Not gonna lie, it's a good song. I recommend. I recommend. I recommend listening to the listening to the intro themes because they're really good. They're really good. But yeah, 
He basically reminds me of Tetsu. But yeah, way more open free, we can say. Well, Tetsu is a, well, Tetsu's awesome and, and lovable and dorky at times. Yes. <laughs> Takemichi is Tetsu, but just, but like, uh, okay. He's basically Tetsu, just, uh, made like, just basically, no, I can't fuck. He's Tetsu, but it's like, put more layers of character into him. No, no, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that Tetsu's a bad character at all, but like, Takemichi basically Tetsu, just like add like more, a little bit more, a little bit more character, a little bit more character into him, pretty much. Something like this, you get onion, onion have layer, open the onion, that, that's basically Takemichi. I just call him an onion, okay. So overall, I like Takemichi, he's one of my favorite six rangers, and he's fun and cheerful, and I love him. What about his sister? Oh, she's okay, simple as that. She was okay. I didn't focus on that much. Again, then she had her moment, but still, his brother. Oh, I like him. He, he's just he, he's just enjoyable. So yeah, we get. So yeah, let's talk about the villains. Uh, so so talk about Garza or Crunch or Crunchula. Let's talk about Garza for a second. Garza should have been the main villain of the show. Then uh, uh Yodona, Yodona. Garza was pretty much. Oh, right. the main reason why Garza hated his brother is because you're going to pretty much brainwash him. That's pretty much what he brainwashed him. He pretty much brainwashed him the whole entire time. That's why. That's why he hated his brother. But I like Garza. He was entertaining. <laughs> he was like. The old time, the old time of show, the old time of show was like, wait, what? Wait, what's going on? Wait, what? Uh, wait, what's that? Wait, what's happening? Wait, what? <laughs> him, yo, him and Crunchy are, him and Crunchy are pretty much fucking shit up at times, and I freaking loved it. <laughs> and I freaking loved it. Oh, man. Garza is pretty cool. I like him. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I, I'm not happy. I, I'm not fucking happy. I'm sorry, sorry, but I didn't like how uh, I didn't like how uh, they uh, treated him at the end of the show by killing him off. He should, he should, he should, he should have stayed alive and reunited with his brother. Or uh, I don't know, they should have put a freaking soul in the freaking uh in his freaking mech. Just saying, because that made that been perfect. That made perfect sense since uh judo did the exact same thing to the king. Why not do it to his brother? Just saying. It would have been perfect. It would have been freaking perfect. But yeah, I like Garza. <laughs> and Garza and Garza is like that Garza is like that one guy you don't want to piss off because my guy. He get once he gets pissed and mad, he gets stronger in the fight. And my God. You don't want you don't want to piss this guy off, that's for sure. <laughs> but yeah, Garza, cool villain, I like him. He shouldn't have died. I didn't like how I didn't like how they did wait to him at the end of the show. But uh, let's talk about Crunchyroll. I like him. <laughs> one of, one of my favorite episodes is the cat episode. It's basically uh, Yondo is pretty much shit talking and saying, "Hey uh, hey uh, do you have any do you have, do you have like, any more idea for a monster or are you just?" Or just being lazy and slumping. He's like, I'm not slump. I'll think of a cool monster. <laughs> and uh, basically, the cat he made a cat monster, and it came in was like, wait a minute. So, is Crunchy one of the ideas? He's like, hey, no, I'm not one of the ideas. <laughs> oh, my love that episode. Oh, good episode. Good episode. Funny. Good episode. Re recommend it. Recommend it. Pretty funny. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Hard one man, bro. But I like Country Up. He was cool. He was funny. He was cheesy. He was nice. And he and he didn't give me like he, he didn't feel like your typical villain villain of the show. And that's what I like about him. Also, I did enjoy I did enjoy that his friendship with Judo, but still. I like him. 
Also, the rap episode. Love the episode. The rapping episode. Why was he so good at rapping? Just, just want to say that. He was so good at rapping. Don't know why, but he was so good at rapping, and I like it. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> I like him. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind a spinoff of him. Just saying, <laughs> because that spinoff was just basically him doing his misadventure. It would be pretty cool, though. Just saying. <laughs> so uh, yeah, get that out of the way. <laughs> Let's talk about Yondo. Oh, uh, what can I say about Yondo? Well, well, besides her, well, besides her being hot, and besides her being hot and all. Uh, Yondo, Yondo's fierce. But at the same time, uh, was he, like, really necessary in the show? Nothing against the actress. I like the actress because the actress is a huge nerd, and I like her because of that. Very relatable because, well, I won't say, well, okay, well, I won't say a lot, but, uh, her actress is very anti-social, funny enough. And, uh, with my proof of this, see, at the YouTube channel, I'll put the... I don't know. Put I don't know. So I don't know. So, don't know, so put a link to the description. But I will put a link to a video in the, in the in the description of her being anti-social, and I recommend you go watch it because it's very emotional. Not. Ha I don't like. I don't like. I didn't like. How, I didn't like how they uh, film her, film the actress crying. But uh, it's very emotional. I recommend you go watch it. I'll put it in the, I'll put it in the freaking description. It's as simple as that. So back on saying. So back on saying it, uh, what you are you know really necessary? I mean, like, I mean, like beside beside her, be like beside her being like a personality for uh for Yonda, for the main villain of the show, she wasn't really necessary though. Just saying. Also funny. Also funny that Tomiko had a crush on her. Like I can't blame him. I can't blame him. I can't blame him. But still. She she's like she like she wasn't like ne she like uh wasn't like fully necessary to show to be honest with you, like if they if they if they come rid of her like way better then yeah but same time she's like the same time uh she wasn't necessary yeah no she wasn't necessary though she was okay but still she wasn't ne she wasn't necessary though let me meet her actress though but still. <laughs> so let's so uh, let's talk about uh so let, let's talk about uh freaking uh Yodona. I uh I want to say this to prove my point that uh this is pretty much decorative two point oh uh I want to say this so you guys so you guys remember so you guys remember how Opera Ranger how how Opera Killer. Pretty much said that. Oh yeah, uh, I was evil since day one. No was no one was controlling me, right? Yeah, our car pretty much used that exact same logic here with uh with uh Garzar in your in your Dona because pretty much when he uh killed pretty much, pretty much when Garzar killed your Dona, your Dona said, "Oh yeah, uh." I was controlling you the whole entire time. I was pretty much faking that I was dead. So yeah, ha 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 ha. I'm like, oh, okay, that's just great copy and paste from Arbor Ranger. Again, then, this is a car we're talking about, and I like his work. And ironically, Arbor Ranger, like Arbor Ranger is like my like number three on my favorite Sentai, but still. <laughs> Yeah, uh, our car pretty much, our car pretty much, uh, copy and paste his past work from other Sentai shows into Kier Major, which I don't have a problem with, but at the same time, that's kind of disappointing. But, uh, yeah, back on saying, back on saying for the, uh, for Yonda, he was, he was a okay villain, no, nothing special. He was cool, I like him. He pretty much, he pretty, he was intimidating to the other villains, well, villain for, to the other heroes, and yeah, that's pretty much it about him. 
I will say this. The main reason why I like Carrie Major because the show no the show no at times be funny, not take so seriously, but at the same time be very seriously. And that all depends on the writing and Akara did that pretty well. Exact same thing from the pretty much did the exact same thing in Abba Ranger and Deck Ranger and Go Kaiger. It's somewhat Kruger, but still. But mostly but mostly those three. And I like it. Kim is a special show for me because, because, like I said, it helped me through dark time. Characters are relatable. I need, I, I love me a Sentai show that's fun and stupid, but at the same time, the villain, the villain make no freaking sense. Like literally, like literally, the episode of Mama, like, like, the episode of Mama Machine getting drunk. Good episode, by the way. And uh, the golf guy, the puck guy, I like him. He was funny. <laughs> he was funny. <laughs> he, he was funny. <laughs> he was just random too. No, another perfect example. Another perfect example would be the cat episode. Like, beside the cat episode, there's also the freaking uh, there's also the freaking uh glue episode. In the super in the Gekkerman episode when they fought the super glue super glue guy. Apparently, the, apparently those two were blood. Apparently, those two were, were siblings, huh? Funny though, just like that fire ice monster. <laughs> that was pretty funny though. That was pretty funny. They were fighting. They were fighting Chuck and the Rangers, but still, <laughs> like I like that. I like that. That even the show at time take the villain seriously, and other times don't take him seriously. And I love that. So, all right. Uh, it's like this. Care Major is basically my my version of Comrade Forze. Well, Forze did help a lot of people through dark times of 2014 with the whole uh with the whole tsunami event that happened in Japan. I, I think it was a tsunami event. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, Care Major is basically my Forze because it helped me. It helped me through dark times of 2020 with the whole pandemic. And, and yeah, it's. It's good, and yeah, it helped me a lot through that. And damn it, I love the show. It helped me through my, it had my, it had, it had me a time up. It, had, it helped me through my ups and down, good and bad, but still. Character relatable. The mechs, oh, the mechs. Let's talk about the mechs for a second. My favorite, my favorite mech is probably, uh, my favorite mech is Psycho Amazing. It's probably the uh, it's probably the uh mech with with Takamichi's of uh, no, uh with the King, and Deca Master. I like that mech. That mech is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I yeah uh, the maybe maybe why King Amazing is special to me because. There's something about this show that I can't describe. Besides, besides me pointing out the pretty obvious um, multiple times. While this show has problems, yes, but I can let those problems go because no one, I no one, I want a Sentai show that at time that takes so serious, but also at the same time, it's funny and campy and cheesy, and that's basically Kier Major, and I love it. I have like so much. I have like so much stuff. I have so many stuff. I have so many things to say why I love the show, but point like this. Should I, should I, do I do I like that? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> hold on. <clears throat> do I recommend Kieran Major for it for anyone else? <clears throat> okay. If you want a Sentai show that is uh very funny and cheesy, it takes itself serious, serious, and also also at time doesn't. You got Kira Major for you, but if you want a show that if you want like a show at hundred percent that not takes itself very seriously, that's Zenkaiger because Zenkaiger says Zenkaiger pretty much is that show that not takes itself seriously since day one. While there are, while there are serious moments. The show did not take itself very seriously. It's just 
damn. So something about K Major. It's so like K Major. First time I watched the K Major, I thought it was okay. It was pretty good. But but like same time. But, but, uh, first time watching the show, I thought K Major was okay. It was pretty good. I'll I'll probably I'll probably watch it one day. But uh, like lately, I can't lately I can't stop thinking about I can't stop thinking about why I like this show. And this reason, this reason why, the show is relatable for me because it helped me, it helped me, it helped me grow as a person. Again, it helped me through my dark times of twenty twenty with, with the whole pandemic. And I need, and I need a show that I need a show that can that takes itself very seriously, and also at the same time it doesn't. And that's, <laughs> and that's basic care major, yeah. I, I love it. Do I think do I think it's a ten out of ten? No. If one if part of my top five, it's not a ten out of ten, no. No like Tokyo show is a ten out of ten, just wanna point it out. But still. K Major just K Major basically gave me K Major basically giving me that same energy right now as Dawn Brothers. And Dawn Brothers give me the exact same energy as K Major. I need a Sentai show that sound, I need a Sentai show at time that 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 it doesn't take itself very seriously. It, that's Kira Major. Well the show well the show is serious at time, but at the same time, it not takes itself very seriously. And that's Kira Major, and I love it. So what so what do I think? K Major is a good show. I love it. It will all, it'll probably, it probably, it probably is my favorite, like, Sentai for Reiwa. Oh, man. Reiwa characters, somewhat good, awesome at the time. Interesting, credible writing. The theme song's awesome. I, I love the, in, I love the instant, the insert theme song by the characters sing by the, by, by the, about their own so, cast members. Uh... Dang. Yeah. Yeah. I had no, I had I had like, nothing else to say. Just K Major is a good show. I love it. This show is pretty much this show pretty much <laughs> this show will all this show will always be in my top five. And Sena will be Sena 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 is Queen. Sorry. I'm gonna say that. I prefer Sena or Sayo any any day. I like Sayo, but Sena more interesting as a character to me. Shigu is funny, but Shigu Shigu is a funny, but also at the same time he's a sensitive dork. Timiko is a fucking is is a badass like him. He pretty much he pretty much the leader of the show. He's pretty much the the leader of the show. And, the, and you can see it in multiple episodes. Takamichi's awesome. Sayo's alright. I wish to, I wish they did more with her character, but still. Judo relatable as Judo very relatable as well as a relatable character. I like him. <laughs> I like Judo. Ah oh, man. The theme song the the, the soundtrack's awesome because well because you'll see like some past Toku act, uh, Toku past Toku singers sing the soundtrack. By the way, go look it up. You know what I'm talking about. But yeah, uh, Kim Major is awesome. Do I think overrated? No. Do I think do I think it deserves the hate? No. It's not for everyone. That's true. But still, I like Kim Major more than Zenkaiser. Simple as that. I like. I like K Major and Dawn Brothers more than Zenkaiser. While I think Zenkaiser is a good show, it just wasn't for me. Unlike K Major, that was for me because K Major, K Major get, basically gave me a lot of well, sparkling. We can say <laughs> a lot of Kimmy King, a lot of joy. Ah <laughs> oh, man. So overall. I like him overall. K Major is a good show. I like it. It's, it's part of my top five. It's number two on my list for favorite Sentai. That was Alba Ranger, but like, but like, but yeah. After we watching the show, I debenched Alba Ranger at number two and made it number three. 
So yeah, uh, K Major, I love it. <laughs> so so yeah, that that's all I gotta say. Why I love the show. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and my next like my and like my next uh review for podcast wise. It's pro. It's a uh, athlete Lightspeed Rex you. It's right, Lightspeed. A pop. Like what? Wait, 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 wait. What? Power Rangers Lightspeed Rex you? Yeah. And that's, that's pretty good because it's on YouTube for free, and I gotta go back and rewatch that. So I'm not mad. So yeah, my next video, my my like uh, my like my uh, I can't talk. Fuck. My next review for for my podcast is Power Ranger Lightspeed Rex you. Like for a, for a toy review, uh, it would probably be on SA Figures Kamari Hirobi because I just bought that and I can't I can't wait I can't I can't wait to make a video on him. But yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, post my over post my notification on for the next video. I'll put the link I'll put the link to the video I'll talk about in the description with all my social media. So yeah. My name's Aaron, and I'm out. Watch Kid Major. Bye.